Pause standard. Hello there. In today's video, we are going to learn how to use standard view in Gmail. The first step to opening Gmail is to open the desired browser or the browser of your choice. Folder view list. Web series M. Microsoft Edge 2 of 10. New opening new window. And type out mail.google.com or www.gmail.com in your web in the control address uh, and search in bar the, search in the search bar inbox tw and click enter inbox loading page gmail grip alert blank still loading and this is our page for gmail now loading complete as for the new users, they might not have logged in in their Gmail accounts. So what they will be required to do is to just click on the login button and enter their email ID and password. And for that, they'll just simply have to click the tab key, go to the email ID part, enter it, enter the password and that's it. After they are logged in, they can, they will get the page which I have got. If you want to create a new email ID, click on the sign up button and create a new email ID. Now, earlier we used to use the basic HTML view. So the reason for that was it was more accessible, but now everyone uses standard view and standard view is quite easy to use when you learn it. Whenever you open your Gmail in standard view this is the interface which opens now to read or to navigate through your emails click t which will take you to the table where all your received email messages are located clickable main landmark primary property page table with 50 rows and eight columns row one column and here are all your emails you can use your down arrow to navigate through these emails Column 2 checkbox not checked enable checkbox not checked thank you for registering checkbox not checked for your future reference. You can click enter to open any email. Selected enable India help dot thank you for register blank. Clickable visited link skip to content. Banner landmark search landmark search heading level 2. Button basic HTML view clickable main landmark primary prop. And I had clicked escape to come out of the email. I have come to my table again. Now, whichever email I want to open, I can click enter on that. Main landmark, thank you for rip. Click on H to jump between headings. Clickable list with one item. Enable India help desk help desk at enableindia.org heading level 3. This is the place from where our message starts and we can down arrow to read through the message. Friday, January, and check bu button to me, button add reaction button reply meant to me, meant dear Thibis blank, thank you for registering with enable it. And this is how you can read through your message. Help desk at www.hd, help desk, enable it, Google map, w please click here, we are great, the valuable, reply, forward link. We can reply forward add reaction button or add reaction and do all the require all the desired things by navigating using our tab key. Out of list button. Now I am again in my inbox. No next table. Blank. Clickable button. No next table. No next table. I'll come out and open Gmail again. Desktop. Opening new window. Inbox. Loading page. T alert. Blank. Now, as I open loading. Gmail again, loading you complete. might have noticed that there was no sound when I opened Gmail. But if I open Gmail in forms mode, there will be this sound. But now we are in browse mode 
and that's why we did not get any sound when i opened gmail because whenever we open our browser we are directed into browse mode now to use forms mode in gmail is very simple because forms mode enables you to use keyboard shortcuts to perform various functions to enable keyboard shortcuts press shift plus slash that is your question mark pause recording and what we can see is this sound we are unable to open the panel which we want to for that click insert plus space this will lead you to the forms mode now click shift plus slash question alert the following keyboard shortcuts are currently disabled enable click on the tab key keyboard short table op close link enable link and click on the enable link keyboard shortcuts open in a new window close keyboard shortcuts com table close link and now click on close section main landmark thank you for registering with it now what you can do is you can use various keyboard shortcuts to perform different functions press c to compose new email c C compose new message dialog new message region table and here you can press the tab key to navigate through various elements subject edit subject blank table row one, send control enter button to go back to row one column to go back to our inbox press gi 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 I, G, I, G, G, I, G, I, row two, column one. More send options, menu button, collect. I. Pause recording. And here we are back in our inbox. Microsoft Power App dot. Thank you for registering. There are similar shortcuts which we can use which enable us to perform various functions like we can press R to reply to any email and so on. I will mention a list of all these shortcuts in the description box down below for your reference. So that is how you can use your standard view in Gmail. And it is very simple when you get the hang of it. When you don't understand, it's a bit difficult, but it's very simple when you understand how to use it. Let's have an additional tip here. Desktop. I'll again open my Microsoft Edge. Opening new window. And open drive.google.com. Google Drive, drive.google.com. Google Drive. Loading page. New notification from Pro. Still loading. Get notifications on your desk. Main landmark. Table. Loading complete. Pane. Grammar test Google. Grammar test dot docs work. And this is my drive. And for navigating through drive, there are similar shortcuts, which again are linked down below. So if you want to learn how to use Google Drive, it is very similar to Gmail. And what you have to do first is click shift plus slash. That is your question mark. Question. Keyboard shortcuts. Search keyboard. Navigation. View all in help. Search key. Navigation menu list. View all in help center link. Keyboard shortcuts dialog. Button close. Search keyboard. Navigation menu list. Selection one of seven. View all in help center link. And you can view all the keyboard shortcuts in the help center for your reference. Main landmark. Table. Grammar test. 
and as you heard that my drive is running currently in forms mode so i can use various keyboard shortcuts to navigate through it slash table row one column one search and drive at as you heard slash helped me to search now whatever i want to search for i can search in this edit box using my keyboard so you can use this shortcut slash to search or you can use the browse mode which is i think difficult because you have to tab and up and down arrow through the website to find the desired buttons but once you learn the keyboard shortcuts it is more easier to navigate through them so i link i will just provide the uh, list of all the keyboard shortcuts of drive and gmail and it won't be all the shortcuts but it will be the necessary shortcuts which you would require to use these two applications and as i showed you you can view all the shortcuts by going to the help center so that guys is it for today's video until next time bye bye hi everyone if you like my video so please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you have any doubt, then you can write it in the comments section down below. I will try to answer it soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.